We just made the Swiss Army knife of ribbon carts. It's called a rolling ribbon rack. And we'll show you how we made it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting organized. We are up to here in ribbon. Yes, spools and spools of ribbon. I am super excited about this project. I have needed it for so long. And now that we're switching, switching between summer and fall, we have a whole new shipment of ribbon. We have boxes and boxes and spools and spools of ribbon. And I need a place to put it. I need a place to see it all so I'll know what I have. Because I also have Christmas ribbon coming in. And so this week, you want to tell them what we're making? A ribbon mess. <laughs> we are making a vertical ribbon storage um, organization cabinet. It's actually like going to be... Rolling cart. Yes, rolling cart. Multi-purpose. It's, it's going to be like the Swiss army knives of like ribbon storage. I don't know if it's going to be that versatile, but it is going to be six feet tall. I am going to put pegboard on each side on the ends I guess and then on the front and the back it's going to be on casters I'm going to have uh, six shelves of ribbon so hopefully this holds some of it I don't even think it will hold all of it and then the plan we'll see if I can get it all done today I mean this may be an add-on video for later but I want to add a little storage shelf on top so I got big I've got big dreams big and we're gonna make it happen <laughs> Step one. Oh, we're gonna draw up some plans. We don't know any kind of 3D modeling software, so we're just gonna use a uh, pencil and some paper. All right, the one thing we knew we wanted was to have this thing on wheels, because I wanted to be able to move it. And then we had a couple of different ideas on how we wanted this thing to be stable on this dolly. Garrett knew he had that dolly and he was insistent we were gonna use it. Uh, so we decided that we would have two sides, we would have six shelves on each side, and we were going to add that pegboard on either side in order to make it sturdy and useful. Step two, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We needed eight one by twos, a one by six by six, four one by eights. Ugh, couldn't lift them. <laughs> Some pegboard, two pieces of two by four. A uh, dolly, some brackets, some screws, some brad nails. I don't have them to show. And that's it. And that is it. Well, we will paint or stain at the end. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, paint and or stain, I suppose. And that is it. Step three. We're going to make all of our cuts. We're going to take these one by twos and cut them down to 28 inches. These will be our shelves. They're going to be angled so that the ribbon sits right, cradles right in these two angled shelves. And our furniture dolly here, which we already had, we're going to make this at the base for this cart. It's 29 and a half inches wide. The one by eights are three quarter inches. So that's inch and a half. Inch and a half. So that makes our shelves 28 inches. So we need 24 of these bad boys. All right. The expectation is there's six on each side. No. The ends of the shelves are going to be this one by six. And we're just gonna take this one by six and make a bunch of 45 degree triangles all the way down. Try to get 12 out of this board. I'm gonna make sure everything is the exact same size using a stop block. And of course, uh, my pocket saw. <laughs> it's a little friend. My little friend, hey little guy. Yeah, hasn't been around a lot lately. Oh, I guess I do need these behind it. I need to put the stop block in. Safety first, y'all. <laughs> So we have some drama. 
A little bit of drama. A little bit of drama. Not too much drama. These pieces are too big. They stick over the sides. And we really don't need them that big when we put the one by twos out to the sides. Yes. We put these up here towards the top. Then the small rolls fall through. The shelf is way too wide for a small roll of ribbon. So we really only needed like three inches high on the sides. So we're going to try to cut it in half and see if that works. Step four. We're gonna assemble the shelves. We're gonna glue them together and then hit them with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. Kim is measuring down a quarter inch from the top and then I'm gonna glue and tack it right there. These are gonna be like little shelf troughs. Oh, shelf troughs. <laughs> Say the dog chewed on it. <laughs> it does look like the dog chewed on it. <laughs> all right, all of our shelves are done. Step five. Now we paint. Well, Kim's gonna paint. I'm gonna take the carpet off of the uh, the dolly so that we can paint it. Yeah, that seems fair. That seems even, right? It's even, right? <laughs> I think so. I think it's just gonna be a little bit easier to go ahead and paint these shelves one by one, rather than waiting until it's all assembled and trying to paint the whole thing. Trying so, to get in the nooks and crannies. Yes. So I can get in the nooks and crannies a whole lot easier right here, one by one. So I'm going to start painting, and then we'll continue with the next step. All right, I'll work on that carpet. Yeah, better get started on that. <laughs> Now we're gonna assemble the sides. We have our shelves and we have our one by eight sides. We're gonna start by putting a pocket hole in the bottom and then attaching these with some screws, one and a quarter inch screws, every one foot up, right? Yes, <clears throat> technically from top to top it's one foot, but between them it's nine and a half. We'll show you when we get there. And the pocket holes are so that we can attach these sides straight to the dolly. dolly. I was gonna say base, I was gonna say base. It's all about that base. <laughs> it's all about that base with you. It is, it is, it is. Now we gotta do it on its side because it's too tall. Okay. So for those of you that are new and haven't seen us use this Craig jig before, this adds little pocket holes in the side of your board so that you can attach two pieces together but not see the screw. Now I'm gonna glue and then screw these shelves in place. Now we're gonna attach these sides. Ugh, here's one, one side. The other one's over there, it's over there. We're gonna attach them to the dolly. I didn't, I didn't paint the bottom. <laughs> See, I noticed. So I painted all the shelves and then I went down to make dinner and Garrett painted the sides and the halfway painted the dolly. 
Maybe nobody's gonna look at the bottom. If anybody's looking at the bottom, I'll be like, hey, put that down. <laughs> Get out from under my dog. Get out from underneath there. <laughs> Doesn't need any servicing. I don't know if we can reach all the holes. We drilled three pocket holes, but we can only reach two. So, I put the pocket holes a little too close to the uh, bottom shelf. So I have to loosen the bottom shelf to get my pocket hole screws in the hole. I don't trust just the pocket holes to hold this thing upright. So we're gonna add some braces around the bottom and the side with some little half inch screws. Step eight. Now we're gonna add the pegboard to the sides. Well, for you it's the top but the sides. <laughs> We're gonna use these little scraps that we have to just set it off the side enough so you could slide those peg accessories in. Accessories. Accessories. Yes, I sent Garrett today to get some pegboard for the side of this thing and he came back with this brown hardboard and we didn't get a chance to paint it before we installed it so I am going to put a coat of white paint on this. Oh, okay. And yes, and now that we have these little braces in here, probably need to hit those with some white paint. So we're just going to paint it again. I'll spray it. I'm just going to spray it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep spinning. Keep going. Don't stop. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? We ended up adding the top to it. I cut the top out of the glue forge, glued it together, and then we just tacked it up on top real quick. And I plan to put some vinyl up here and have it say something and make it cute, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet. And then we have to move the pegboard down just to scooch to fit the new top on, but it was great. And, uh, we can hide stuff up there like candy. Yeah, we can hide. We can always are looking for good hiding places. And this is perfect to hold all my ribbon accessories, our the zip ties, paint brushes, glue. Our aprons, because I'm always wearing my apron. You know it. <laughs> he doesn't do any of the painting. <laughs> <laughs> And I found as I added all of my ribbon, this is plenty of space to add one more row. Oh, I know. And row. yeah, all the way down. I think I can add one, two, three, four, yeah, five more rows. In between, it just keeps growing. Keeps well, growing. I need it. It's not even all of the ribbon. So um, I'm totally going to do that. I'm adding on, I'm gonna add on 10 more rows of uh, shelving, and I can add, I don't even know how many rolls of ribbon, that'd be so great. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need that many rolls of ribbon? Well, here's the thing though. I have a bunch right now, but you're right. As I go through the fall, I'm gonna deplete oh, all of this, yes. but I'm gonna stack it back up again for Christmas. So, mm -hmm. 
And then it happens again for summer and spring. It just is a cycle. Well, <laughs> it looks like it would be pretty easy to just add a couple of more shelves, brackets, cups. I don't know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> With that, we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us on Patreon for the after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And I don't know how much of this little craft space that you can see. We put together this craft space this weekend in an afternoon, and we have that as exclusive Patreon content. Yeah. Anything. It's been weeks. Yeah. <laughs>